people often ask if Chateau St. Jean was the first winery to do vineyard designates in California, and I don't believe it was. Um, but uh, uh, it was, I think, the first winery ever designed specifically to handle small lots of fruit. And you had a lot of little tanks and all sorts of different mechanisms and equipment to, to handle those small lots from different various uh, terroirs and vineyards. I think back on this, the pride of ownership of being able to bring in fruit that you'd bring in from Moon Mountain, Glen Ellen Vineyards, and looking to load of grapes and dumping them and see that whole, uh, taking pictures of it, I mean, still in my mind's eye, and not one leaf inside there. I mean, it was picture. You didn't need sorting tables because the fruit was picture perfect. It was sorted in the vineyard. You look at, at the pride of ownership of what you, Bernie Mosier, Barney Fernandez, everybody that, that really went through and, and promoted uh, not just a, uh, an idea, but, but actually physically made it happen. And that was, that was something for a winemaker because you're only as good as what Mother Nature gives you. And you guys made sure Mother Nature gave us some good things. Well, we tried to work with it. And, you know, and that... And I appreciate that because that's what I've based my career on growing grapes. And, and I think that's, and, and you know that for the years that we've worked together. I, I was really fortunate to be growing grapes at a, at a time when, when there was this so, there was a big rebirth in this industry. You know, and, and you know, with the birth of, of, of St. Jean, a winery that was receptive to what we were, what we were trying to do out there, what we we're trying to understand. Well, you know, the idea of vineyard designates came about uh, with uh, one of the one of the former owners of Chateau Saint Jean, Ken Sheffield. It was one of the three partners, Ken Sheffield and Robert and Edward Mazoyan. And Ken asked me one day. He, he tasted some. He'd been over to Burgundy, and uh, when he got back, he said, "You know, uh, the Burgundians really keep all of their lots separate and make these great wines from the great vineyards. Can we do that?" And I said. Well, yeah, we would be delightful to, to do it here in California, I said, but it'd be very, very expensive. And I remember you said, Richard, I didn't ask you how much it would cost. I wanted to know if we could do it. And I said, yeah, we can do it if you want to spend the money. Well, they spent the money, and they, that's how Chateau St. Jean developed. And that's, that's why I think it continues today, because it still has that, that philosophy of producing these great from great vineyards. It's so sort of like when somebody asked me about putting it in a vineyard, I said it would be very expensive, and if they get worried, I don't do it. No, that's right. <laughs> <laughs>